Well, similar to previous tests, this one crashed into the Sea of Japan, and the U.S. Pacific Command says that it tracked the launch and that this medium-range ballistic missile did not pose a threat to the continental United States. Now, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson issued a very terse statement saying that the United States has spoken enough about North Korea. We have no further comment. Now, North Korea has test-fired ballistic missiles multiple times this year, but the timing of this one is particularly interesting because it comes one day before the meeting between President Trump and President Xi. President Trump and his advisors have already indicated that North Korea is going to be on the agenda at that meeting. And Rex Tillerson has been calling on China to put more influence and pressure on North Korea to curb its nuclear program. Overnight, White House officials had said that all options were on the table and that the clock is quickly running out. Now, China has said today that it sees no link between this test and the meeting between the two presidents, but the talk on social media here, as well as elsewhere, um, uh, just uh, with people talking, is that this particular test is going to make it that much more difficult for President Xi at the meeting, and that he is going to be at a disadvantage while President Trump will have the leverage. Carl? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.